For years, you've been hearing that any moment now, XRP is going to break out. And what you've seen for, let's call it three years, is breaks down and not out. And that's going to leave you with the question, where is XRP going next? Well, the good news is I'm going to tell you exactly what's getting ready to happen in the long term in a best possible scenario. Now, can I tell you that this is exactly what's going to happen? No. I can't because I have no idea what's going to happen. So can I predict the future? Of course I cannot. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. We're going to talk XRP. We're going to talk about where this next move is getting ready to go. And strap yourself in because it's going to get real interesting real soon. Okay, so guys, the first thing that I want to point out is what's called the golden ratio. That's 161.8%. When you look at the FIB tool off of the last move, and this is a weekly candle, the, the reversal came right here back in July, and we started an uptrend. If this uptrend fully plays out, you're looking at XRP at $1.10. Now look, you are thinking right now, well, that's not very much. And you would be right because that's not the end of it. That's just the beginning of what your expectations should be for XRP. Let's dig in just a little bit further. And by the way, you've broken out of the golden ratio. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's the area between 0.5 and 0.618 on a FIB tool. You broke back into this golden ratio on a back test. And now you're breaking your way up here. And there should be a breakout coming very, very soon. What does a breakout look like? Well, let's first of all talk about how long you've been waiting for it to break out? And the answer to that, seven years. So let's check that out. So guys, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that this is the longest wedge pattern in history that we're witnessing right now. It's been happening for uh, seven years now for XRP, which means that it has been consolidating in this range for seven years now. Now, of course, there's been ups, there's been downs, there's been no breakout, however. Now, I've done as best I can to make sure that this thing, this wedge, is as tight as possible to really kind of encompass all of the important data points. Now, in the event of just a perfect breakout and a new paradigm, you know, some people like to look at the bottom of the range going up to the top of the range and then predict that when the breakout happens that it's going to come over here, it's going to do this. And what does that give you? Well, that gives you about a $25 XRP. Do you want a $25 XRP? Because that's how you get a $25 XRP. So the breakout would give you $25 XRP if this plays out to perfection. Now, the most likely scenario is it will not play out to that type of perfection. And I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. But let's take it one more step further. What could we expect? Well, the top of this range here looks to me to be about $1.25. Looks like that big yellow line that I popped up on the screen right there, that's going to be some sort of prohibitive resistance. And it checks out that it's just a little bit higher than that dollar ten that we were just talking about. Now, in the event that we get a legitimate breakout, and now we can focus on real, real breakouts in a real bull market. So I think that the start of the breakout is a 2x getting us into this range right here at a dollar. 10 to $1.25 in that range. But the big breakout, I think, comes from the back test. After we get a breakout here, it would look something like this. We'll probably come down a little bit more one more time. Uh, we'll have a breakout above, then we'll have a back test right here, and then we'll have a break up into this range, consolidate, have a breakout above it, and then a break above it, and then boom, here we are at about $3.35. Now, $3.31 is the high of XRP previously. So, let's just say seven years ago when there were far fewer people in cryptocurrency and there was a lot less uh, money and capital, XRP went to $3.31. So what does it look like today? What would happen if that sort of breakout were to happen today? And to answer that, I think we should look at the perceived market cap, which is currently $32 billion, almost $33 billion. If we just suppose that this is the payment transaction system for the future for the world, then what is the value on that? And that value comes a lot closer to Bitcoin than it does to Ethereum or BNB or anything else therein. So let's go back and look. If we had a breakout to get to Bitcoin's level, that would be about a 
X from where we currently are based on market cap. Let's call it about a 35 X. So 35 times where we are at 60 cents right now. It's right there, guys. So I guess what I'm saying is if you're holding XRP, you're holding digital gold. And you should expect, in my opinion, that over the next, let's just call it this next bull run, you're going to witness, you're going to see about a $25 XRP as long as Brad Garlinghouse and team do their jobs to the best of their ability. And as long as XRP finds its way navigating this new real world asset space, then XRP is the payment provider of the future and lawsuits over. So the only thing left is to get there now. $25 XRP is what we're predicting. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, remember one thing though, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. Um, I'm just a monkey with a YouTube channel and uh, I can't promise you anything, but I can tell you that if it breaks out the way that it looks like it's supposed to break out, $25 XRP. Let me know what you think, comments down below.